Hey everybody, welcome back to Urban Rush. We have changed locations and we are at BCBG Max Azria with the lovely Christy Lore from Style 9 to 5. She packs it in, in every aspect. <laughs> it's not just it's in the dress, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. She packs it in in the interview. She packs it in in the dress. She packs it in. And that's why she's on the air, because she packs it in. She can't look like this and be able to read, ladies and gentlemen. It's true. <laughs> if you had told me when I was first reading Interview with a Vampire that one day I would be interviewing the author Anne Rice, I probably, uh, well, I almost screamed like an idiot when I met her this morning, but I held back. Uh, Vampire yeah. Lestat has never left me. Has he ever left you? No, he never will. Will either. he come back? Please say yes. Margaret uh, Atwood wrote a great foreword in your book called The Legacy. Very, very nice. Yeah, very lovely. And she said, you know, you spent a few years being Mr. Doom and Gloom, but you're looking <laughs> at the positive now. Why do you think looking at the positive on our future is important rather than focusing? It's really easy to focus on the negative because you've done so much damage. But Fear is very good to get people's attention. And we were just showing a picture of you, which is uh, your first rocket ship, I'm gathering. Oh, it's yeah. in the book as well. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. early training, is that what this is? Yeah, that's my very first Soyuz simulator made by Quaker Oats, I think. But, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, I look sort of irritated with my dad for interrupting my simulation session. We are very excited to have actor Will Forte here in the studio. Of course, you recognize him from Saturday Night Live, 30 Rock, and a whole lot more. How are you? I'm great. Welcome How are to you? Vancouver. I'm really well, thank you. My voice just broke here. I'm gr great. <laughs> he just went through puberty right yes, here. Yes. <laughs> well, my next guest is almost a movie star. Why? Because his feature film, No Clue, is going to be having its world premiere at the Whistler Film Festival. He is Brent Butt. How are you? Good. I like this. I <laughs> no, it was kind that. of magic, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know where that came it from. It felt like a bigger deal than it is even now. Whoa. Everything is a bigger deal with jazz hands. <laughs> yeah. And we have to talk about uh, what you do at home because a lot of people think of red carpets and glamour and movie yeah. star, of course, because that's what you are, but you actually um, have a farm. You have alpacas, uh, five dogs, and what else? Well, in the pet department, we've got five dogs, two cats, a parrot, and the alpacas, but then we also have a farm, so we've got pigs, sheep, cows as well. And then after those long walks on the beach, it got even better. It was our honeymoon. Come on, Greg, right? that's TMI. TMI, I don't want to no, know what was, you did on your it was honeymoon. fantastic. <laughs> and did you know that we're expecting? No. Yes. Really? Congratulations. Yeah, we're expecting. I didn't know that. My wife's pregnant. So the honeymoon worked. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. If it gets too spicy, I don't have far to go. That's oh. right. Served that's hot burn. and steaming to your table. Only Bob Bloomer, I'm telling you. His new show, World's Weirdest <laughs> Restaurants. Uh, amazing stuff. Bob, how are you? Very well, thank you. Nice so, to be back. I was going to ask you if eating out of a toilet is weird, but you let us eat out of yeah. the toilet, and it's weird. It, oh, really? I don't find it really all that weird at all. <laughs> You're talking about names that you see on the album, Ozzy Osbourne, Iggy Pop. You've got Fergie, uh, Adam Levine. You'd think that that would be a logistical nightmare. Um, it worked out great. It was really easy. It, um, uh, I, I never even stopped to think that I was putting together, you know, really what it turned out to be 19 different singers. So the kick is on one. And that's on three. And the snare is on three. And that's on four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. One, I can barely count. Okay, I'll try. And now you yeah. What is balls talk? Um. Ballstock. <laughs> I never do a sports interview without asking an awkward question, and this is that moment, Steve. Ballstock. Well, um, I had a coach when I was a rookie who would like to put his foot on your armrest. Please um, don't do that. No, no. And he'd, he'd like to have a conversation with you. <laughs> I feel like I should call you Mr. Orr. No, You're no, like no. Canadian <laughs> hockey royalty. No, that's fine. Thank you. Who are your top three hockey players of all time? Ooh, Gordy's number one, without question. And his elbows? Uh, uh, I've, I've, I've felt his elbows. I have felt his elbows in the past. <laughs> My hand disappeared. Look at that. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mike, wait, you gotta be right here. We gotta do this here. right. Okay. You ready? Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Little for ladies and gentlemen. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so uh, we disrupted yoga, nearly died during the core strength torture maneuvers that they were making us do, and now I'm scared of heights, and we're gonna go uh, do some rock climbing, so that should end well. Oh, oh my God, this is four. I think I can make it. 127 hours. Mm. Oh, oh. That was really hard. I'm done, you guys, let's go. But I am so 
I'm scared. It's not even funny. Am I going the right way? <laughs> Am I going the right way? I'm going to go off the side of the building. Like, how can I go the wrong way? Like, my body feels like lead. I can't even control myself. I mean, bodily functions, yes. <laughs> this is the way the show is going to be today. All day. You, um, maybe not all day, because I don't know if I could even handle that. I'm going to take a quick break. <laughs> Hey Fiona, it's Michael Bublé joining you all the way from the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> it's cold for beer. Ooh. Anyway, I just wanted to say honestly, genuinely, that I love you. And I want to thank you for having such a huge part of, 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 of my success. And I, I owe you a lot, you and Mike. And uh, anyway, I wish you all the luck in the world in your new endeavor. And uh, I congratulate you on the great work you've done all, over all the years. Um, I wanted to do this from the very top of this mountain because you are the top. Dude, the green screen's not working. The green screen's not.